is principal of Potts Grove High School in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, where he recently led a highly collaborative process to build a lunch club program. Bill created a teacher digital team and student digital team and worked closely with parents and district administrators to ensure all stakeholders were involved and invested in his school's digital transformation. Bill's leadership extends to the state level where, as president of the Pennsylvania Association of Elementary and Secondary School Principals, he launched the, he launched the weekly <coughs> hashtag P-A-A-E-S-S-P chat on Twitter and introduced a tech studio conducted by NASSP digital principals. To the state conference, those programs were added. Bill regularly models the power of new media to everyone in the Potts Grove community and recently turned the school's Twitter handle over to a student so the community can see the school from a student's perspective. Wow. <laughs> and here's a quote. As a principal, I am responsible for leading in a digital age, Bill says, and assuring that our students are equipped, prepared, and ready to be digital learners, digital leaders, and citizens. Please welcome Bill Ziegler, NASSP 2015 Digital Principal of the Year. I'd like to thank NASSP for this great honor and and you know, just standing with James and John and be, learning from them is just tremendous. You know, for me, NASSP is the life breath of what I do as a principal. NASSP, it's I'm honored to serve in an association that believes that the principal is the heart and the soul of our school systems. Because that's really, we are the heartbeat that keeps it going. You know, I would like to thank some very special people who made this award happen. Because without them, I would not be digital principal here. I may not be principal of Potts Road. <laughs> so I want to thank my superintendent of schools, Ms. Shelly Fiola. I want to thank our director of technology and his amazing tech team, because it's their innovative leadership that did whatever it takes to help students find success. And you know, I wish I could bring you to Potts Road, home of the Falcons, where you would meet an amazing and the best faculty this country has. I want to introduce you real quick to a teacher Mr. Montes, he teaches Spanish. And Mr. Montes is willing to take a risk every single day in his classroom to integrate technology when it works and when it doesn't work. And why does he do it? He does it to engage students because he realizes that we're in a new age of learning where students must be uh, you know, challenged with high rigor of digital integration in the classroom. I want to introduce you to students in Potsdam. And I gotta tell you, our Falcon pride is strong and alive. Our student body got the one to one this year and they've embraced it and jumped in. I want to share with you a student, Sid, who's a junior at Pottsgrove. Sid came down to me and he started teaching me these tech things. And he said, I said, hey Sid, here's what we're gonna do. Every two weeks, I want you to meet in my office and I want you to teach me a new tech tool. So Sid comes down one day and says, hey Dr. Z, I just built a 3D printer. I didn't even see a 3D printer. And he brought it into school, and he walked me through what it is and how it works. The next week, uh, the next meeting, he introduced me to makerspaces. And he is actually formulating the plan to put a makerspace in our library, and Sid is working to help that. You know, it's about creating authentic learning environments for students. And that's what myself and John and James, that's what we're trying to do in all the digital principles here in ANIS's pit. It reminds me of a student, Makia, who's on our student tech team. When we got the one-to-one -one and the digital principalship, I'm sorry, when we got the one-to-one, -one, Makia came up to me and said, hey, Dr. Z, I want to thank you for this. Because without this technology, I would, have not, I would not have the equal opportunity to an education that all students have. And as principals, we need to lobby and advocate that every student has the right to have equal opportunity of an education that's embedded and integrated with technology. Because technology is what engages students. But let me share this with you. I tell my teachers this all the time. Technology will never replace an outstanding teacher. It will never do that.
Because what technology can do, a teacher can do trifold. And it's all about building the relationship. Teachers, I teach, I work to teach teachers how to build the relationship through technology. And in closing, I would like to thank PASSP. Um, Mike Allison has been a big mentor in my life. PASSP has been just a, a tremendous leader in principal leadership across the state of Pennsylvania. And finally, without, you know, the most special people in my life, and the reason that, you know, I, I get up and smile every day because I'm a blessed man. I'd like to thank my wife, Kim, my son, David, my daughter, Hannah, and my mom and dad, Bill and Mrs. Aylor. Because they believed in me before I believed in me. And you know what? I challenge every single one of you principals out there to believe in a child because they may not believe in themselves. We need to develop talent and we need to teach students they can do great things. I want to thank you for this honor and I pray that God blesses you all richly throughout the rest of the school year. Thank you.